Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of my vanilla Minecraft server. And today, after the mouse dies, of course, of course. Um <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's I've determined it's the mouse itself is busted. But it's the most comfortable mouse that I have with a high enough sensitivity to work with my setup. Uh yeah, anyways, but today, I think we're going to go ahead and do what I was talking about starting last episode, but it didn't actually do. I think we're going to go ahead and try our hand at building a little dock. We'll see how this goes. Got to run over here, because, yeah, because, heaven forbid anything be right up next to where we were at. Let's see, perhaps up this way? Hmm. How do we... How do... Well, it would make more sense for it to come off this way. I don't know. Something like that, maybe. Uh, one, two, three... Four blocks wide, maybe? Hmm. I hate how uneven everything is here. Let's stir that out. Stir this bit out. There we go. Alrighty. So, we'll move our little torchy over there. And, alright. I four, right? Yeah. One, two, three, yeah. Fourth block over, and we'll get started. Something like that, maybe. I do have depth strider. Nope, not there. Alright, so one, two. Three, four, five. Yeah, about five, maybe? Yeah, I suppose that could work. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. And again, over here. No! Oh. And of course, those of us who are more pay more attention to details know that in real life, if you tried to light a torch in a small enclosed space like that, you would actually kill yourself. Because the fire would suck all the oxygen out of your air bubble. I'm wanting to double tap to fly. That doesn't work in vanilla. <laughs> well, if you're not in creative mode, that would work, I should say. Uh, the slow climb up to the surface. Uh, we're going to start grinding here in a second. Ow. 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 Alrighty, now. Do we want to. No. No, we do not. Well, it would match some of the other structures I've built. It wouldn't fit in very well here. And, of course, that kind of messes up the water. Fortunately, we have our water bucket on us. And, uh... No wonder I was having trouble climbing. Oh! <sighs> I just didn't know anything about the way this is all set up. I'll fix it later. In fact, you know what I could do? What if we hook it around? That could be interesting. Go out a little bit more and then come this way? Yeah, yeah, that sounds like a plan. Alright, so... Uh, so the path itself is three wide. Two, three. 
sink to the bottom, which is painfully slow. Of course. Two, three, up to there. There, I believe. Yeah. Yep, that lines up perfectly. Go up for some air with our non respiration three helmet. Eventually, when we get villagers going, that'll be a lot easier. Because, uh, yeah, I'll just trade for it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Wow, swimming is really slow. My boots aren't broken, are they? No. Let's go, heart. Surface. Go. <gasps> oh. <sighs> I can't do that for very long. Oh, my God. Now, the other side. Wow! I can swim faster than that in real life. And I'm not a swimmer and I can swim faster than that. Now, because this is a raised river, this could prove interesting because I have no idea what kind of an effect this can have. Obviously, this part's going to be not at the same height, but... Yeah, let's see. Let's crawl under here and see. Hmm. Interesting. Like so. Come on. Now, after having gotten all of those in place, what's it doing over here? Ah, it didn't go all the way down. Okay. Okay, that's what I was afraid it would do, but it didn't do that. So we're good. And I can't really do that very well because of the even nature, but that side actually makes sense to do it on. And of course, this side is completely walled off because, yeah, you can't get to that side. But if you've got a boat there, you're not going to probably be getting off on this side, and that side. And then this would be the main section right here. And that's only one wide. Hmm. I think it'll be alright being three wide. Not that luck. Give to me as they would. Thank you. There we go. Something like that. Eh, nothing terribly fancy. Layer it. Eh, about like that. Maybe some torches on top of the sections where you attach the boat. The moorings. It doesn't have to be terribly fancy, does it? Well... The other thing, too, is being in this area, being overly fancy, would not fit in in the slightest, so, yeah. yeah I think that'll work. It's not the fanciest dock in the world, but it is, it's a dock on a large river, so it's not like you're going to have your ocean liners <laughs> part to 
Ah. Uh, and I, I think it it really fits. So yeah. I think before we go and take a nap here, uh, let's dump our inventory out. Because, <laughs> yeah, inventory's full. Have you done anything for more than 10 seconds? Yes. Okay, your inventory's probably full. That up there, that up there. Um, yeah, I guess that's everything. Let me up. I can beat it under. Ha, I beat you. And everything's so far away. Quick little nap. Even if they weren't patching all of the different little transit systems out of the game, it wouldn't help here. Because it's a large biomes map, the thing, the thing to keep in mind is that everything is really far apart. Uh, just random thoughts popping in the old head. Just probably ignore them, but whatever. Read this map. Yeah, it's got most of it on there. There we go. That map is now up to date. That's like a creeper. Uh, I suppose we can see if this one will update any. Before we do too much else, we're actually getting fairly close to being done around here, to be honest. I'm still planning on using this area as kind of my central hub of everything I do, but we're actually almost done with everything I had planned, at least in this area. And now, now I just repeat it. We're watching too much mumbo jumbo. But yeah, we've got the llama pens to do, which I'm probably just going to do off camera. You know, I'm not really sure what would be good. I'm thinking grass would go really well for the llamas, and then, of course, a fence. And I'll probably do some sort of a simple little shelter for them. Doesn't have to be anything fancy. They're llamas. <laughs> It's not like they're going to be in conditioned space. They'll be out of the rain, but not in conditioned space. Ordinarily, you would have something for the sheep, too. Uh, because of the number of sheep, the structure would be huge. I guess it's all grass is spread. You kind of have, because of the size of this area, you really have to be over here for that to do anything. So I might end up doing some parking myself in creative over there just so it'll grow. For like an hour or two. It might take several hours actually. Run, 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 run. Now, two things with getting an ender ender going, which I don't know. I've been hoping to have somebody go with me, but. I'm probably going to end up having to do it by myself. I really need to get one going because the current XP farm that we have is just not doing it. I mean, it's nice and we get lots of bones, but it's just not cutting it. We need something faster. And on, in addition to that, because of the sheer size of this, we kind of need both an Elytra, which is the correct pronunciation, by the way. Elytra. Not, it's not Elytra. And it is certainly not Elytra. Whenever I hear false talk about people not having their Elytras, I keep wanting to say in her comments, no one on the server has one of those. <laughs> Sorry. 
That just irks me. Grammar. I like proper pronunciations, okay. Uh, but I could use an elytra, or elytra, actually. And I could also use large amounts of ender pearls. Now, on this server, I also have a command block that makes the dragon drop the elytra when you kill it, which is helpful. I'm not sure where it drops it, but if it drops it and it goes through the portal, we'll have a small problem. Because it'll be ejected into the lava. If it does. So, yeah, that might be a problem. But, on the other hand, it'll, it'll be in the end. And one of the things on our list is to do an ender ender. Which is nice. And in playing around in a different, in a vanillified version of my first world, there's nothing more satisfying than the 1.9 sweep attack with ender ender. There's just something so satisfying about that. And having large amounts of ender pearls for getting around, because this place is huge. It's not the biggest base, but it's a pretty good size. I mean, wait, well, you've seen the map here. You've seen this map. Uh, when I was on here with uh, the Hermit Pack on Journey Map, I was looking at it and I was thinking, yeah, if I were to try and claim all these chunks with the default the for the uh, FDB utilities. I would imagine we'd be pushing the limit on how many chunks we can claim. <laughs> and this isn't even the biggest base out there. I've seen bigger. I mean, you should see what some of false patrons built. Or on one of the seasons of Impulse's uh, Patreon server, that, the nether hub there was bigger than this base. That's just nether hub. So, but yeah, uh, interpols are a definite must, and an elytra. Don't really necessarily need an elytra launcher. We're in the extreme hills, which means it's very lumpy to begin with, and uh, yeah, I think right here or anywhere along the wall would probably make a pretty good jumping off point. So, anyways, enough prattling on in, in, in grammar lessons. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Sorry if I offend anybody, but it's it's true. It is pronounced Elytra. Uh, Tyler log zip is the only one I've heard do it correctly. Uh, anyways, I do hope you enjoyed the other parts of this episode. At any rate, and if you did enjoy, it, please be sure to give a like rating. And if you really enjoyed it, then please do subscribe because there will be more episodes. Most of them I probably won't be scolding people as much. Uh, and anyways, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.